You might want to use a symbol for this, especially if you're accident prone, like me. Bring it through. Like so. And continue all the way down until you have all of your strings attached. Okay, so I've brought all of my threads through, to the, through the suede, so when it folds up it looks just like that. And next we're going to be taking, take the first two that you see here, and you're going to tie a knot going left over right, pull taut, right over left. Pull taut. And for added security, do one more. Left over right. Next, you're going to take the next two strands and you're going to do exactly the same thing. Left over right. Pull taut. Right over left. Okay, so since we have an odd number of strings, I'm just going to take my last string here and with one that I've already tied a knot with, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. If you'd like, you can take some hypo cement, which we also carry online, and you can dab the knot on each of these before you fold it over and eventually begin to start stitching. Now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and trim the tails, because we don't need that anymore. You can make them shorter if you'd like. They're all going to be covered up. And temporarily take a little piece of scotch tape, wrap around the side, because now the final step is we're going to do the completing, we're going to complete it by stitching around the outsides and adding the button enclosure. Now is a really good time to go ahead and measure your piece one more time before you're adding the button enclosure so you know how much room to allow for that. And make sure to measure from side to side. We've got exactly seven inches and we want to make this about seven and a half inches. So we're good. So take one uh, piece of your unwound wax linen. I've just got a single strand here. and thread your sewing needle. Okay, so you've got your needle thread here and just go ahead and do a little overhand go through twice, knot, just like we started out with. Flip off the remainder. And we're going to be starting from this bottom corner and we're going to be overhand stitching up until we round the corner right here. But first, you want to go inside of the suede, just like so. You want to tuck that little knot right inside. Then going around. Make sure that's tucked in there. You can use a thimble for this part if you'd like. And continue to stitch, being mindful of how consistent you're being, because this one will show. It'll kind of frame the edges of the suede. And you can take your time with this part. 
make sure that everything is pulled nice and tightly. And then stop once you've rounded the corner because that was when we will add our button. Okay, so I've stopped stitching around here when I've rounded the corner because now we're going to start thinking about our attachment. I've cut two little pieces of the compassion suede that are about two inches in length and a quarter inch in width. And this is the part where you'll need a pair of needle nose pliers. What we're going to do is we're going to take our button here that has a nice loop, grab kind of towards the middle of the suede. We're going to stick that kind of through the loop. Just like so. Okay. So stick your needle nose pliers through the loop and grab the two tails to pull through, just like so. And then kind of spot measure it here. And I want my button to come right above the suede, so I'm going to end up, I'm going to trim right about here with the scissors. And we're going to just go ahead and this is the point where you stick this inside of here. And we are literally going to stitch, continue stitching overhand through the button so that it's there and nice and secure. So while I'm holding it in place, I'm going to continue to stitch. And take your time with this part because this is essential that you get it in there nice and securely and you also want it to look pretty. And you can even take the pliers and kind of adjust it. You might want to use a symbol for this part too. And it does get a little tough when you're working through four pieces, three, four pieces of ultra suede, so you can use your needle nose pliers to bring the needle back through, just make sure you don't hurt yourself. And I also want to mention that it's really important that you start, um, as opposed to doing the loop on the other side first, you want to do your button on this uh, first so that you can, when you're going to uh, attach your loop, you want to make sure that it sits around your button. It's much easier to work that way than in the reverse. Okay. And that is nice and secure. And you're just going to continue to stitch all the way until you reach the end here. Okay. So the way we're going to finish this off, before you go to make your last stitch, just leave yourself a little room, and we're going to tie a knot right here and pull it through. So how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go ahead and tie a knot just like so. Scoot it all the way down to the very edge. You can use your fingernails. You can also use some tweezers if you'd like.
And then, pull tight, bring it in between here, in between the two pieces, and back down through so that the knot gets hidden. Just like so. You can dab a little bit of hypo cement on here, but it should be okay. And then just trim the excess off. So now you've got the first half of your bracelet complete. So we're going to go back and make sure now that one half of our bracelet is complete that we are making our guideline as far as how long we want it to be. And we are, are about seven and a half inches, which is great. Now to work on, to the, on the other side, I'm going to turn this around here. I've also taken another piece of ultra suede that I have cut from our initial piece that's two and two inches long and a quarter of an inch wide. And this is going to be the loop. And how you make that is you bring edge to edge. So they're parallel. But you have this little part that pops up in the center here. If you want to hold it, you can put some tape there, as I have done in this example. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to spot measure this. So. Obviously, I'm going to need to trim some off the ends here. I'll take my tape off and do that. Take about a quarter of an inch off of each tail. Test fit it by sticking it inside of the suede. And I think this is going to be just a little big but this is the opportunity that you have to kind of fit your button and it is going to be a little bit big so we'll have to take more off the ends. This part kind of takes a little patience. You're going to want to make sure that it's exactly what you want though because once it's in there, it's in there. While pinching tightly, just go ahead and try to... That looks like it's going to be just about perfect. So, undo your button, still holding on to this little loop here. And while you're holding on to this, this is when you're going to start stitching. Here's our completed project. We've got both sides finished. Now for the fun part, which is trying it on. And I made this for a slightly larger wrist than I have. And it's nice and easy to put on and it looks looks great. Got a little charm dangling off the side there.